In its ninth iteration, this is the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Wilson Blade 98 18 by 20. This update offers laser-like targeting for players looking for control and feel. With improved stability, which translates into confidence, Wilson adds stable feel, which enhances the racket for a firmer feel and direct connect technology to ensure you'll feel connected to every shot. New for 2024 with this racket, Wilson offers enhanced spec tolerances and new B&G grommets, which allow for easy click and go replacement so your rackets can remain intact and will never let you down. The Wilson Blade rackets have never been my favorite of the Wilson lineup, but going into 2024, I'm possibly looking for a replacement for my RF97. And when Wilson first introduced these, they did say it was the Modern Plane Pro Staff. So I gave this one a serious look. And I remember the very first hit, I instantly was loving the stability, the plow through, and how solid this racket felt off the ground and still maneuverable enough at the net. And I felt like I could access good amounts of power and tons of control. With that 18 by 20 string pattern, I definitely felt like it had a little more precision than my 16 by 19 RF. And it is a little bit easier to swing, but again, I will have to say that the stability of this racket did shine for me through the play test. The hardest part for me is going from this Blade 98 1820 back to my RF 97 because I do realize how much I love that racket and little things here and there, just even that added mass in the RF, the slightly thinner beam of the RF, I just continue to go back to that racket. Luckily still have a few grommets left to keep it intact. However, this is my favorite blade to date. I thought it was super solid. It allowed me to play an aggressive game and it made me feel really confident when hitting. What's not to like about a Blade 98 with an 18 main? These frames have not changed much. They've gone through slight tweaks and modifications. And these rackets really, I know this is a heritage racket for Wilson and for me as well. I believe the K-Blade was released right around the same time that I was first hired here at Tennis Warehouse. So I'm real familiar with it. I believe the first one was an 18 main. It wasn't until later on the 16 main came along. So the evolution of this racket, you know, again, slight uh, modifications. Definitely a meat and potatoes racket for me, all court. I love the way the 18 main string kind of fills up the whole string bed and kind of makes it feel as though the, uh, the sweet spot is all the way from edge to edge. So just a great all court stick. I definitely uh, like a lot of rackets with tight 18 main patterns. I'm a little uh, troubled with shot depth. As long as this racket is paired with kind of a thinner edgy polyester, I feel as though I get the best of both worlds. I know you've heard me say this before, but I still get that connected feeling to the ball that people that love 18 main uh, patterns really uh, call out. And then I also feel like I get a grip on the ball and a good launch angle. So overall, this racket is just set up beautifully. One of the most intelligent designs I can think out there and a great play test for me. Coming into this play test for the ninth version of the uh, Blade 1820, I guess the best compliment I could give Wilson on this one is they didn't mess up a good thing. Um, I've always liked the Blade in the past. Um, lots of different versions that I've tried. I actually was uh, a user of the 2015 version for uh, a couple years. so. Really have a good history with this racket. I think um, with this update, definitely a nice new look to it, um, but uh, definitely just carries on that good stability. Um, I've hit it with the last couple versions, the eight and the seven. I'd say some slight uh, changes compared to the eight, a little bit uh, more solid and stable filling up in the contact zone. Maybe a little firmer, but don't get you know pushed away by that. It's still comfortable and plush. But comparing it to the version seven, uh, I have hit that one recently. That one felt uh, a lot more dampened and muted. So definitely more ball fill and responsiveness with this one. Uh, really like the specs from the baseline. Love it on the slice. Love it at the net. Loved it on flat serves. Um, maybe you had to work a little harder to get spin out of this, but that's good because they have the 16, 19 version for more spin. So all in all, I really like it. Uh, I would add some weight to the handle for more headlight balance, but this is a racket I can pick up and easily play with. Whenever Wilson introduces a new blade, it's always a fun time to get right out there on court with it. And I had a great time hitting this 1820 version of the 98 V9. 
um, but I actually prefer the 16, 19 string pattern. And the reason is I usually go 18, 20 mains for more depth control, but I found excellent depth control from both rackets, ball dropping nicely inside the lines. And I just couldn't quite get the pace and zip on my ground strokes and serves out of the 18, 20 that I was enjoying out of the 16, 19 with no downsides. So uh, that would be my favorite out of the two. This racket though is the more accurate I found of the, of the two. I loved it at net, felt very connected to my volleys, getting good placement on the ball. The feel is very dampened. I would say just a tad muted, um, but I could still find my targets no problems. I learned to trust that feel of the racket and really get dialed in with it. Um, on serves, I was serving very consistently with this racket, just missing a little bit of that pace and core penetration I got out of the livelier 1619 version, and that's why that was my favorite racket. For this review, we tried just about every Luxalon string that they offer. Uh, for the review today, we have Luxalon Eco Power as well as ALU Power, and we have them strung right between 50 and 52 pounds. For more information on this racket or anything tennis related, be sure to head to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.